subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss another video. If someone says Sophie chill, I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> you know, like you do not talk to me Sophie like that. Is- At some point as an artist, you also have to realize this is what the audience loves about me. Yes. Music videos made a lifelong impression on people. So I think that is the really amazing thing about being part of that era. Today, there's many singers, many talented singers, but you don't really know what they look like. Yes. I'm really excited. I've been in both. Yes. Because I've, I've got to see both sides of it. There are things from there that I love. There, it was a struggle to kind of even get known. Yeah. But today, like you can get known, but do you last? People do not know that for all these years, I have been performing and I'm known to be a really good live show performer. People thought I made money off it. I got a car, I got a car, I got a car, I got a car. What? Hey guys, my name is Shavan Shah and today I'm going to be having a conversation with somebody who's super talented. It's so much other in the house, what's up? Hi, my god. Okay, like you are like an energy ball. I love it. <laughs> This is exactly what I was talking about. But congratulations on Gauri. Thank okay. you so much. Now when I watched it, I'm like, wow. A, I, I feel like I'm teleported to the early 2000s. Yes. Because this was Sophie Chaudhary back then. Okay, of course there was no social media back then, yeah. right? Yeah. So, I remember how we used to request for a song. Yeah. So there was a channel that gave us a list and you could call and request. request for a song. <laughs> and that's how that was my introduction to Sophie Chaudhary. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And then when I watched Gori here today, I'm like Yeah. I I'm, I'm the one thing I'm happy about is I don't have to wait for a channel to watch <laughs> the song. Again. Yeah, I'm like I can just go to YouTube and watch it again and again. I've already watched it like four times. Yay. But You know, right? You have this massive fan following for your song. Do you know this, or or you do not know this? I honestly have always underestimated it, but I suddenly realized, like when I get messages every day, please bring back Ek Par Desi, please bring back those days, do Ek Par Desi 2.0. I'm like, my God, the song really impacted people. And then as a build up to this song, I just put up a video last week, and it like went mad. Like it got some 10 million views. I'm like, what happened with this song? Like I mean, and I realized that people really do love it. Yeah. So I uh, yeah, I guess I underestimate it sometimes, but then I also I think it's good to be that way. Yeah. <laughs> so when I saw the background dancers, I'm like, this actually looks a song of 2022 because there are people of. they are real people yeah. you know for dancing behind you and that's yeah. so important to be inclusive because let's be honest okay when that entire pop culture era was there yeah. okay women looked a certain type yes. right back then and everybody who was not that type had this thing that oh i want to do this yeah. but, but i I'd... can't do this because i'm not that type yeah. but today when they watch gori hai they'll be like damn i can do that because yeah. there's somebody representing my body type out there well i'm so glad if you've noticed that 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 was never honestly it was not an objective my objective so when i decided to do the song i got a choreographer who's yash kadam who's done it it's his first ever music video oh. he's 22 years old He's never assisted anyone in his life. He's never wow. done a music video. And this is an overwhelming thing. Gori has started off as a chotu to mid-size project. It ended up having a 130 crew. It became wow. massive. Almost okay. a film guy. Yeah, it was like a film and it was overwhelming that he handled it so well. And my first directive to him was, "Yash, I don't want any international dancers in this. I want apni ladkiyan desi. Uh I want girls who are talented who probably like are dance amazing on Instagram because that's where everyone's been doing it yeah. now. And I want all skin colors. Yeah. I told this the first thing I size I didn't even think. Yeah. That was not a thing at all. I was like whoever's good. Yeah. And I was like I want all skin tones because I want our girls and I want anyone who's watching this to feel like why like just the song is gori hai kalaiyan but I mean everyone should dance to it. No? Yeah. Like what does it matter? Yeah. Everyone should feel represented. And then it just so happened that in the video when you look at it all the girls are different. Yeah. Whether skin tone, body shape, but they're amazing. And I don't think we've shot it in a way to make a point of it because that was not at all. I don't think everyone is just equal. Yeah, which is great. Which is that's actually, how it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't right. that how it should be? Like, whoever sees the video should be like I can do this. For sure, for sure. But to all those people, you know who told you yaar abhi dance gaane nahi chal rahe you should have told them listen have you have you ever seen my journey <laughs> i don't think you've ever followed a trend you've been a trend setter in that way Thank because you. back then also and the reason i'm saying this is during the lockdown yeah. okay 
of course there's all kind of content that we watch right yeah. so i remember my wife and i one night we have been like let's go on a nostalgic trip and watch all the old songs and i remember <laughs> watching ek par desi and I remember just telling her yaar sophie was so good <laughs> why has this era just gone yeah but don't you feel that as an artist also like I there's do. something special about that era yeah right? i do but i think what happened was then when that era happened as with any era then a lot of rubbish starts getting made because yeah. everyone wants to jump on the bandwagon band band. then people got sick of it yeah. then movie music changed move, movie music with people like vishal and shekhar started sounding like pop music yeah. right so everyone was like okay now i'm getting that music with charuk's face so i don't need these people it literally became like that which is fine but it just put down independent music a lot and now i feel because movies are changing a lot of them are focusing more on content than music right yeah. sometimes music is a hindrance for movies yeah. now so i feel like shesha was the last good album and after that no movies have really had good That's music true. and i feel like the punjabi artists have got it right now like they realize yahan pe space hai we need to do it but like, you know like you yeah, like you spoke about the punjabi artists i think hindi music mein yeah uh, we saw that era in you know till the late 2000s and Correct. then you know films happened yeah. to all of us and then again from 2015 we saw that era again but i think it was the punjabi artists who kept doing it like they had yeah. the punjabi film songs that were happening and they, they kept and, doing and that they music doing it. whether it was working not working they kept doing exactly. it exactly um and obviously at some point it's all going to break through which is what's happened to yeah. so many of them and i'm so so happy for them and it gives us a chance to do for what sure. we want to do but i guess the gaps happen because i maybe i micromanage everything i wanted to be perfect and it's really hard to find good songs it's really hard to put a project together yeah. and it's really hard when you're doing everything yourself like i don't have like a 100 people backing me i'm still doing this by myself so it's really hard and then when people tell you oh you start to gun in each other i'm like well i don't want to do those songs i want to do what works for me yeah so i've tried doing those songs they don't work for me and i don't yeah, love doing it it's not my vibe. vibe it's not my vibe so i want to do what is my vibe what yeah. works for me and what at some point as an artist you also have to realize this is what the audience loves about that's me that's true and that's what i want to give back to that them so, so this song for a lot of us we all know gori hai kanaiya yeah but for the people like my dancers they're like 19 to 22 they don't even know the original wow no but today when you sit and what two decades in the industry and that's a uh, 2000 is kind of, yeah correct two decades 2000, in the industry yeah. and more in fact okay uh is there something about that decade that you probably miss hmm. and is that is there something about the current decade that you are like wow okay i'm glad this happened right So, what do you about what do you miss from that decade? I mean, I think that things were much more iconic um and long lasting. Yeah. I think like you would things that would happen like as like DJs made a lifelong impression on people. Yeah. I think music videos made a lifelong impression on people. So I think that is the really amazing thing about being part of that era. Today there's many singers, many talented singers, but you don't really know what they look like. That's true. You don't know who's sung for who, but from that time you know who Shan Sunidhi, everybody, you know who ever you for, you know who everybody is, yeah. and how uh, they look. Yeah, you know how Subhi, everybody from that time, you know how we all look and the kind of music we put out. Today, in a way, what's nice is through social media, everyone's got a platform, yeah, which is great because you can put your talent out there. But there's also a lot of it, yeah. so you get lost. Um, so how do you stand out? Then when you want to stand out, then people sometimes try and do really crazy or superficial things that don't last. Um and also I think everyone's become impatient. I've had music companies tell me that you know listen even if you make a song which is like just a minute and it's got a good hook that's great. I'm like I'm from the time where we would do an eight song album. You think one minute is good enough? Like that's how because in 15 seconds people decide whether they like it or not. So I think there's no patience and I think there's too much content. So you're not consuming things. You're not really taking them in. It's just pass 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 pass. Yeah. But what are you taking in? Nothing technically. Nothing technically. So I think that's the sad part. On the one hand, it's a platform. On the other hand, there's so much that you're not interested. So I kind of feel, you know, I'm in a way I'm really excited. I've been in both. Yeah. Because I've I've got to see both sides of it. There are things from there that I love. There it was a struggle to kind of even get known. Yeah. But today, like you can get known, but do you last? That's the difference. Wow, you've actually. said it so damn well yeah uh even back then okay because there was no social media yeah. okay and you know because you said things were iconic yeah the fame that any of the singers got because let's be honest you are one of the pioneers who decided that hey 
if I am singing a song, why should somebody else be a face of me? Oh yeah, I was very firm about that. Yeah, and yeah. You, you, that was a conscious decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, and that's one of the reason today we know Sophie Chaudhary, the Sophie Chaudhary, because yeah. you've starred in your song. Yeah. But today, when there are such good artists, they do not have, you know. They may not even star in their own song. Yeah, I don't and like you said, you don't know who sang this song. Yeah. Are you the singer? Yeah. You know, and they can just pass back. Do you think that if social media existed back in that era, mm. okay, fame would have been very different? It's an amazing question because it's so hard to look on hindsight. I mean, would fame have been any different? It probably it would have been like how it is today, right? Um, which is everyone trying to battle for their place to get out there and, and you know, trying to be seen in this whole field of social media. But I don't know how fame would have been. And I don't like to think about it because I love how it did pan out yeah. for me. But the one thing that I was, you're right, I was always very firm about is I was like, media of us, media shut up. Which is very important. Yeah, I mean, because I also back then, not, I was not getting a chance for playback because they were going with the sort of typical voices. Typical voices. So if a different voice was not working, by the time they were interested in different voices, they saw me as a heroine. So they were like, obviously, she's not going to sing for anybody else. So there was always a reason why, no. You know, plus maybe because I'm not Hindustani classically trained. So it was like, can she, can she not? But different voices do work. You just have to know where to use them. Yeah. That's the whole point. Yeah. So for me, it was first, I, maybe I was ahead of my time or I was at the wrong time or whatever. But I was at the right time for me because I've always sung for myself. Yeah. Uh, and I love that. And I'm grateful for that. So the funny thing was because they used to kind of feel like, how can a girl look like that and dance like that and sing like that? In the beginning, when Iqbal Desi or when Babu Chal Chavila came out, they actually thought it was someone else singing for me. Wow, guts. Yeah, because all the music videos were like that, no? Yeah. Somebody else would be singing and then there'd be the model. Yeah. So that's what they thought till they realized, oh my God, she sings it and she dances it. And so that in itself was a trend. Trend, exactly. Yeah, and very few people did that. Now they're doing it, but you're right. I mean, like what will happen is sometimes the singer's there and there's another star couple in the video yeah. or all that happens. I yeah. don't want to I mean, that. to be very honest, 10 years down the line, the songs that are coming out today, will we even remember that song is a question? Yeah. But, uh, you know, in this entire journey of yours, yeah. from the 2000s till now, was, was there a zone where, you know, things just hit the rock bottom and you're like, I don't know what's happening mm. and I don't know how I'm going to handle this. Did, did it happen? I'm really grateful that it's never hit rock bottom. This, I mean, you know, when independent music wasn't working, I got a chance in films. Yeah. When films was not happening, I mean, the thing is, this business is out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. But I've always been working. Sure. I do a lot of live stage shows and people who don't know that the live market is huge. Now all the singers and music directors are like, we bhi live shows karne because they realize, I'm doing shows from 2005, se main shows kar rahi yeah. ho, be it weddings, be it corporates, be it anything. I've been performing everywhere. In fact, when I used to say no to doing weddings, the first wedding I performed that was with Shah Rukh Khan and I said, I'm a fool. He's, he understands the game, I have to learn, you know. It was with Kylie Minogue and Shah Rukh Khan and me and I said, oh my God. So what, that, yeah, what am I missing out on? So I have been doing shows, but the thing is, shows are not televised. Yeah. They, and social media, of course, is a new thing. So people do not know that for all these years, I have been performing and I'm known to be a really good live show performer. And that is what I love, entertaining an audience, getting people dancing, having a great night. I love it. Me and my team thrive on it. So yes, perhaps on screen, out of sight, out of mind in the live show circuit, not at all. Yeah. So that is what I genuinely love. And then I realized that I have to bring out songs much more often for people to say, ha ha, she is still doing this. And you know what, what actually, funnily enough, this is how social media works. Yeah. When I did the Telugu cover of Uantava, mm -hmm. which went insanely viral yeah, for some yeah. crazy reason, it actually gave me a kick up the butt. I was sitting, thinking gaane karungi, planning songs, listening to music companies saying, ye aise gaane bhi nahi chalenge. It gave me a kick because suddenly I got messages and calls from everyone who thought I was the original singer, which I'm not. Indravati did an amazing job. Suddenly people who thought she was a singer, they suddenly remembered. I said, it took this thing on Instagram for people to remember I'm a singer, I'm an artist. I mean, even Sonu Nigam was commenting. Everybody was suddenly commenting and I was yeah. like, oh my God, get your act together and get a song out. And honestly, the fact that Uantava went viral on social media is what gave me a kick up my butt to do Gori. That's the fact. Wow. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no, but you know, you're an artist and as an artist, like you said, you can sing, you can dance, you can feature into something, you can look after the production yourself, yeah. okay? And 
how annoying does it feel when an outsider just tells you you know what i don't care whether you know how to do your job here is me telling you how to do it <laughs> how how annoyed do you get when you hear that you know there's a lot a lot of people don't have the guts to do that with me because perhaps they find me rather you know like i i have those boss lady vibes with yeah. a lot of people so But you people are like, yeah i am i guess because i've i've had i i had a recent experience with someone who's a a sort of dancer come actor um and we were supposed to work some, on something together and the vibe was very like i know what i'm doing and you know like i give people better than what they want and that kind of thing and i was like okay I've been in the business for 20 years and I never used this line and I literally used it for the first time I'm like I've been in this business for 20 years no disrespecting anyone's talent but you don't talk to me like this nobody so, talks to anybody nobody like talks to anybody like this and I was like you know you might have done a film which has done you know sort of well for you or you might have been doing some stuff and full respect to your talent but nobody like if someone says Sophie chill I'm like Excuse me. <laughs> you know like you do not talk to me so like that. So people tell you how to chill. Yeah, I will show you how to chill. So it's very that's so once in a while somebody comes and tries to talk to you like that and that's just because maybe like uh excitement or success goes to someone's head very quickly or they feel they're doing an amazing job. I am open to learning all the time. Right? Yeah. And I'm open to working with everybody because that is how you learn and grow. I've taken a 22-year-old new choreographer who's I never mean, done a video in his life. The girls in the video have never done a video in their life. Like, how much more of a risk taker can you be? And yeah. How much more faith can you have in working with a new generation and learning from them? Yeah. Right. So I am that person. But yeah, if somebody comes and tries to do this with me, I will do this right back. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, because. the the definition of fame was so different back then yeah okay how do you manage to keep your head low but at the same time aim for the stars how did you manage to do that because it's so easy to get you know let that fame hit away. you right i'm not that person i'm just not that i'm a very grounded person to the point where maybe I'm, my mom's like i think you're too grounded do you know how successful your songs are like sometimes my mom would say you know you never understood the success of it for this you should literally sit and tell me off. that's like, true no, that is so true i don't i didn't understand sometimes now i understand i never understood because at that time even the record company was like hmm acha chala and i was like acha chala bahut acha nahi jaa acha chala I realized today that they were lying to me that it was Clearly. massive that it was massive people thought I made money off it mujhe gaadi mili mujhe mujhe 1 rupya nahi mila tha us gaane ke liye what i did not get paid 1 rupee for that song. why because of the kind of maybe the contract i was in they produced the song and they promoted it they did an amazing job for babu chal chavila ek pardesi jadugar saiya i at that time probably got 5000 rupees as a signing amount and that was it i never got anything after that and i was never made to feel that it was like one of the biggest selling albums for the company which it was oh, yeah yeah it really was and i was never made to feel that so i guess somewhere along the line and i guess i'm just that person i never you i never go. thought i never thought like it's so big i was like oh my god i still have so much to do oh my god i still need to do so much and i've always been that person so and i hope i stay that person because it keeps you excited you will, you will. i don't want to be that person who is like been there done everything i'm so bored which is what i see a lot of youngsters like right yeah. now right i see like 25 year olds who are like i'm so bored i'm so bored i'm like oh my god dude <laughs> not i have not seen live like please you can't be bored like life is exciting and i'm that person so i want to wow. stay that person this energy is brilliant <laughs> and that in an industry where careers are short lived i made my own niche by myself for sure no help yeah a girl from london no family in india came made a niche which still exists people know who i am they still love what i do always what could be better what, you do. what could always. be better like this is this is like living the dream it's amazing no but keep doing what you're doing keep Thank that you. fire burning i mean uh, you have fans <laughs> everywhere so keep Thank doing you. what you're doing and i know that So Pisha is just digging. Oh, thank you. I feel it. I feel like it's fun. Same. On that note, you're gonna do the. Yeah, we have to do it. We have to do it. That one is a wrap. Thank you.